Welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about feng shui, ba zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of communication success and motivation. In today's video, it is actually the second video in the 2024 forecast series for those born with the tiger as well as the rabbit within their charts. So how will the tiger and rabbit fare in the year 2024, the young wood dragon year itself? Well, the first animal, which is tiger, is ranked number 10 in the average group. And the next animal horoscope, the rabbit, actually ranks in the building foundation as the 11th animal. Why is this the case? I will share more in the next segment. Now, before we go on to the next segment itself, I would like to highlight that the Barzi calculator that I'm pointing to in, in terms of this link here is actually based on the Ziping system we, which utilizes the solar calendar system similar to Feng Shui. So there are questions as to why basically they are born in a certain year when actually utilizing the Barzi calculator, it's different. This is one of the key reasons why because in the solar system, every new year starts on the third or the fourth of every year which usually may differ from the lunar calendar in terms of the Chinese New Year horoscopes traditionally when people are looking at it. So without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more. Hello, welcome to this segment where I'll share more about what is in store for those born with the tiger and the rabbit within their charts. And if you are very familiar with Ba Zi and already have your chart, you can skip this intro and go straight to the timestamp we have indicated for each of the individual animal horoscopes. Now for those who are new, please bear with me. Do download your Ba Zi chart from bazicalculator.janetyong.com because as you can see from this particular chart itself, an individual sponsor chart can be made up of up to four different animals with one in the year, one in the month, one in the day, and another one in the hour. So if you're only looking at the year of birth, which a lot of people are looking at traditionally, then you're only looking at 12.5% of the entire Barzi chart. Now, what does each of these animal signs mean in each of the different pillars? So for those with the animal born in the year. If you are looking at the animal, you should be reading it in relation to what's happening in the bigger company environment or industry environment, or from a relationship, it could be with your boss's boss or your grandparents. Then when we're looking at the animal that's actually within the month, this is the one that talks about how well your career will go in the new year and also the relationship with your immediate superior, your department, as well as relationship at home with your parents or mentor. And then the animal that's within the day, it actually represents your relationship with your spouse, your colleagues, your peers, if you are in a business partnership, your business partner, and also how you will generally feel for the year 2024. Then the hour pillar basically talks about your relationship with your subordinates, if you are a parent, your children, or anyone younger than you. Our pillar also governs your investment luck in the new year, so it's also crucial to look at what is the animal sign if you are concerned about your investment luck in 2024. And for the tiger, let's take a look at where it is ranked in this new year. As mentioned earlier on, it is ranked the 10th. And why is this the case? Well, mainly because there's only one auspicious star. And the auspicious star, if done right, maybe you can even make it up and make it a good year for you. Now, what does the Voyager star represent? The Voyager star represents in the old days called the Sky Horse. It's about traveling. It's about going overseas. So if you are born in the month of Tiger, generally those which are in February all the way to early March, is born in the month of Tiger. And what you may see is actually a lot of traveling in your career. And if this is what you want to do, that's great. And if you want to have the opportunity to tra travel, this is one good year to basically broach this subject and actually ask for opportunities to travel overseas. Now, if you are someone who is more to online presence, 
being present in the social media, a lot of it is actually being an influencer. Then great news for you if you have the tiger in your chart either in the month or in the hour because you will do well in the new year with the Voyager star. However, there are two not so auspicious star. One is that of the Sky Dog, the other one is Robbery Shah. What is it? Sky Dog generally just represents basically the potential of having some accidents and bodily injury. So understanding where are the inauspicious sectors and not spending time in especially the south where the accident star is would be crucial. I'll be covering a lot more about the auspicious and inauspicious sector in the 2024 Feng Shui forecast series nearing the beginning of February. Now, what about the robbery shah? Robbery shah generally represents also accidents and mishaps. Therefore, understanding where there might be natural disasters and avoiding those locations would be crucial in 2024. Now, then let's take a look at if you have the tiger in the various different branches, what does it mean? As I mentioned earlier on in the introduction of this particular segment, if you have the tiger within your year, it generally represents basically maybe if your company is on the online space itself with the Voyager star, there will be plenty of opportunities for this company to have its online presence and brand name built as well. Because it's online and you are engaged in online business or the role is engaged in online business, you will benefit from it. Now, if you have the tiger within the month, as I mentioned earlier on, great news for you if you are looking at building an online social media presence or traveling overseas because that's a great year where you can step up. And if you spend time in the auspicious sector, which I will cover later on in the series itself, you will boost your chances for the opportunity to come true as well. Now, if you have the tiger in your day, what does that necessarily mean? It generally means that Basically, what you will have is maybe your husband, your spouse, your peers are traveling overseas more. And in your case, since the tiger is actually within the day, you yourself may be wanting to travel more. And whether is it for work or for leisure, it's really up to you. And if you have the tiger in the hour branch, then generally speaking, what you are looking at is basically having increased followers if you are in the online space itself, or in terms of an action wise, you generally would want to basically do a lot of traveling, wanting to run around a little bit more because of the Voyager or Sky Horse star. However, do remember that there are two injury stars, one the Sky Dog and the other one the Robbery Shah. So depending on where the tiger is within, if it's the year, then it's basically injury more towards your head, the month usually your upper back and shoulder area, the day usually about your mid-body section and if it's in the hour, it could be to your limbs, which is the hands and the legs. So do protect yourself and avoid spending time in the inauspicious sector, which I will cover, or you can go to the video description where I have a link as to where other auspicious and inauspicious sectors written up on the 8 Treasures website. So next, let's take a look at where the Tiger's Palace is. The Tiger's Palace is actually in the Northeast, and great news is the Tiger's Northeast Palace has the Heaven Luck Star in 2024. So, if you spend time in the Northeast sector especially, you will definitely gain helpful people's luck, uh, push from your mentor, especially if you are also following the stars in terms of building your online brand, online reputation as well. So that's great for you and remember, no matter where you are ranked, you can actually make full use and maximize your opportunities utilizing feng shui and understanding how to protect yourself. Now let's take a look at the next animal which is actually that of the rabbit. Now why is the rabbit ranked 11th in this new year's race? Now as you can see it's ranked 11 because of no auspicious star. So it's not that necessary it's really very bad it's just that there's no auspicious star within the rabbit's palace in 2024. It just has one inauspicious star which is the sickness charm. So knowing where the illness energy will be, also understanding your health condition and taking good care of your health would be critical. 
So let's take a look at if the rabbit is within the year, what does it mean? Now, the rabbit and the dragon has a combination that sometimes causes what we call an internal punishment. So what does that mean? Basically, what can happen is if the rabbit actually happens to be within the year, then there could be instances where there are some changes within your bigger company environment or bigger industry environment if the rabbit is in the year. And especially if the wood element is unfavorable for you because the dragon and rabbit combines to form wood. Now, if the rabbit is within the month, then in this case, there could be feelings of betrayal or feelings of unhappiness and strain with your immediate boss, your parents, or the people within your immediate department because of certain changes of a certain interaction. So the key thing in handling this kind of punishment, because we call it self-punishment, is basically not to have too much expectations. Understand where are your boundaries, understand the expectations of the other party and deliver to that expectation by setting up framework and KPIs so that you do not have an over attachment in terms of expectations of outcomes or emotional attachment to the things that you are willing to do. Usually what will happen is you may go all out, bend your back backwards to help someone and you expect a thank you but actually coming back from them is actually criticism or something that you're not happy with. So that usually causes this feeling of betrayal. Understanding this, taking a step back will be very important. Avoid spending time in the number three argumentative energy area, which is in the center of every home and office this year that can affect everyone. Now, if the rabbit is within the day, then this feeling of unhappiness may be then with your spouse, your peers, or your siblings. However, if you are someone who is able to take a step back, look at the bigger picture, and not let emotional attachment or expectations interfere with your feelings and how you do things, then it would generally still be okay, especially if the wood element is favorable for you. And if it is actually within the hour pillar itself, then for sure, if you are looking at investment, you need to be a little bit careful as to what you do because of this punishment, you may be taking certain actions that will lead to unhappy outcomes or unhappy expectation of what the other party will give in terms of gratitude towards you for the year 2024. Now, the good thing though is the rabbit's palace is in the east and in the new year it does have the literacy and career success star though there are no auspicious sun star, star but from the perspective of the horoscope palace the rabbit does have the career and success victory star spending time in the east will definitely aid your chances of success and also uncover the opportunities that you'll be working hard for so this is the end of today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed what I've shared and I look forward to you being on my channel. Next Friday, I'll be releasing the next two animal horoscopes basically for those born with the dragon and the snake within their charts. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.